right, I'd like to take you guys through some guide shortcuts in InDesign. Now, this may seem kind of lame, um, but these are things that can help your productivity you know, on a daily basis. So first and foremost, if you want to create guides, of course, we come up to the rulers, click and drag, and we get a guide, right? Now, as I drag a guide out, if I want to make it a page or a spread guide as I'm dragging here, I can hold down Control on Windows or Command on Mac, drag, and I get myself a spread guide. Let go of the mouse, let go of the key, still a spread guide. Now, if I click and drag that guide to reposition it, you'll see that it's going to immediately turn back into a page guide. So I'm going to keep it as a spread guide, hold on Control or Command on Mac, and there we go. Now, what's really cool about moving guides, let me grab another one from the top up here. Click and drag down. Moving guides, you can snap to the ruler measurements on the left-hand side over there by holding down the Shift key as you drag. So if I hold down the Shift key and drag, you'll see it's snapping now, which is kind of cool. Once I let go of my mouse, then the key, it's on a measurement. Now, another thing I can do, too, is if I want to create, let's say, a spread guide, even if it's a single page, you guys, it doesn't matter, but I come to the ruler measurements over here and I double-click, it'll throw a spread guide out there. Kind of cool. Now, if I want to snap it to the ruler guides over there, hold on Shift, double-click on a measurement, and it'll put it right on the measurement label there. Now, if you do click on a guide to select it, this is kind of neat. Click on a guide to select it, you'll see that we have the measurement right up here. Now, what we can do is we can use just a quick way to get up there. If I use Control-6 or Command-6 to go up there, I can select that field right there and just type in a new value, press Enter Return, and it'll move where I want it to go. You can also take a guide and duplicate it. So if I click on a guide to select it, hold down Option on Mac, All-Time Windows, and start dragging, let go of the mouse, let go of the key, you can just duplicate a guide. Now, there's a lot of ways to work with these, you guys. You can even go in and select a series of guides by doing something like this. Now, if you want to select all your guides on your page, you can hold down Control-Alt on Windows, Command-Option on Mac, and press the letter G. That'll select all your guides. Now, if you also want to select guides, you can just click and drag across, right? We know that. But what's interesting is if you have any kind of content out there and you click and drag to select, it only selects the content, not the guides, which is smart, okay? Now, the other thing we can do is if we want to delete guides, let's say, we can select them like I showed you, Control-Alt-G on Windows, Command-Option-G on Mac, press Delete, and they're gone. Or come up to the ruler and CS5 up here, right-click or Control-Click, and choose Delete All Guides on Spread, which is kind of cool. A lot of different ways to work with guides. I know these are, you know, kind of simple, um, but they're things that you're going to want to use. Uh, one qu little quick thing I want to show you as well is if you drag out a guide, hold down Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, you can switch it or reverse it here to the opposite direction. Now, you can also use alignment methods on guides. If you guys select a series of guides, you can use alignments. Look up here in the control panel. You can use the align panel. You can use spacing setting here. So I can say, let's use a spacing of, uh, I don't know, 1P or something like that. And you can see exactly what's going to happen here. So it's going to align your guides out there for you. Anyway, a lot of ways we can work with guides.